Captain Sully Sullenberger's miraculous landing of U.S. Airways Flight 1549 in the Hudson River came more than seven years after the 9-11 attacks. For the many Americans who have written Captain Sullenberger, the two events will always be bound together. John Blackstone has more. In the past decade, New York has been indelibly marked by two contrasting images from the sky. One of terror. and one of triumph. It is flight 1549. We do not know uh, how many people were on board. When U.S. Air Flight 1549 made an emergency landing on the Hudson River, it renewed memories of 9-11. But all 155 passengers and crew on board were saved. And for many people, the pilot, Captain Chesley Sullenberger, became the man who made things right again. After some period of time, I understood how people could really appreciate the fact that there was a story uh, of good news involving an airplane in New York City, that it really was in a certain way for many people a bookend. His uh, wife, Lori, says the well, messages well, linking 9-11 and the miracle on the Hudson began with a fax. And all it said was, America needed a win. Thank you. She treasures the letters he received. Dear Captain Sullenberger, we on the East Coast are still scarred by 9-11. So your splash in the river made us feel elated, serene, and happy for the miracle on the Hudson. Another writer recalled the terrible sights of September 11. You helped me replace that image that for too long was so vivid and hurtful. The bottom line, it took Sully to fix it for me. For Sully, the cool and professional pilot, the events of 9-11 can still elicit anger today. This entire episode was an outrage. It was an affront to civilization. It turns out the insecurities born on 9-11 lived on in the Sullenberger family as well. Our daughters were very afraid. And um, I didn't actually realize that our younger daughter, Kelly, um, held on to that fear, actually, for years after that, about her daddy flying. That fear, too, was cured in the days after the miracle on the Hudson, as a family came to accept Dad as a hero. When the girls went to sleep last night talking. I could hear them in the bedroom saying, is this weird or what? <laughs> this is Jolie. Sully and his family live in California, a continent away from New York. But he and the city share an unbreakable bond. One of the letters of thanks he received came with a gift, a mug with a message, which perhaps should say, New York loves you. John Blackstone, CBS News, Danville, California.